بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of Allah the beneficent the merciful with the help of Allah we have started to have a brief interpretation of Quran and we reach to chapter Shams chapter Shams is revealed in Mecca and it has 15 verses the name of this chapter is taken from the first verse when Allah Taala says, "Washamsi wa duhaha." It means, "I swear to the sun." When we look at this verse, this chapter, Allah Taala have sworn several times to several items. Comparing to any chapters in Quran, we find more swearings in this chapter that they are consecutively one after, after another. Allah swears one after another. Allah Taala swears to the sun, to the moon, to the earth, and to different things to show us the value of that. And after that, Allah Taala, after swearing, He says, "Fa'alhamaha fujuraha wa taqwaha." He talks about purification of human beings. He swears to sun, moon, day, night, earth, and heaven, and also to soil. Then he says, فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا Allah inspired to the soil, to the human beings, what is good and what is bad. He swears to all these things to tell us that I'm going to tell you something that it is very, very important and that is purification of human beings. Allah has prepared everything for us, has created everything for us until we reach to such a level to be able to purify ourselves. <laughs> when Allah says, فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَغْوَاهَا It means He inspired us until we recognize the good deeds from the bad deeds. Then some people are ready to improve themselves and follow the truth, and some people neglect themselves and neglect the true path, and they are ready to only satisfy their desires. At the end of this chapter, Allah gives one example and he talks about the nation of Samud when they tried to fight with their prophet Saleh and they killed the camel that Allah talks about that at the end of this chapter when Allah says فَقَالَ لَهُمْ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ نَاقَةَ اللَّهِ وَسُقْيَاهَا and they killed the miracle of Allah and after that Allah punished them in a severe way Please listen to the verse 1 to 4. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Was Shamsi Wabuhaha. Wal Kamari Ida Talaha. Wan Hari Ida Jalaha. Wan Layli Ida Yoshaha. Allah Tabarak Yu Ta'ala says, Was Shamsi Wabuhaha. I swear by the sun and its brilliance. وَالْقَمَرِ إِذَا تَلَاهَا And the moon when it follows the sun. وَالنَّهَارِ إِذَا جَلَّاهَا And the day when it shows it. وَالْلَيْلِ إِذَا يَغْشَاهَا 
and the night when it draws a veil over it. Maybe Allah swears to the sun and moon, heaven and earth, day and night, because he wanted to show us that the issue that I'm going to talk about it, it has the same value. We know the sun has a lot of value. Without sun, we cannot live. If we talk about the plants, trees, animals, all these creatures, we will see they take some benefits from the sun. In another world, they take their life from the sun. So the sun has a lot of value. Allah says, I swear to the sun, because he wants to say, the issue that I'm going to talk about it has the same value. It has a lot of value. What is it? فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا He, Allah, inspired to the soul of human beings. He taught it. The good deeds and bad. He taught us how to purify ourselves. And this is the most important issue in the life. Because Allah has created everything for the human beings. And Allah has created us to reach to such a level. So this is very important. Maybe this is the reason that Allah swore to the sun, to the moon, heaven and earth. We will see that Allah Taala sometimes swears to the sun that is so big, والشمس والضحاها والقمر إذا تلاها والليل إذا يخشاها day and night to big issues to the moon, for example, and sometimes he says وتين he swears to the fig or olive وتين والزيتون I swear to the olive. Sometimes he swears to something big and sometimes to small items. Maybe Allah wants to say that for Allah, big and small doesn't make a difference. He wants to create and to create something very big or something very small, it doesn't make a difference. As if we want to see, for example, the mountain or a piece of leaf, it doesn't make a difference. The eyes will see both of them the same. To create them for Allah is the same. So Allah swears to both. Sometimes we see a mountain and sometimes we see a straw. It doesn't make a difference. Only to take a picture. It is regardless that it is big or small. To create is the same. This is the reason maybe Allah will swear to all these things, big or small. This chapter, as we said, has the more, most swearings in all chapters of Quran. Allah Taala. After swearing, he says the most important issue to purify yourself from any dirty issues. To fight with your desires, not to kill the desires. We are not ordered to kill our desires. For example, sexual desires. In Islam, it is not allowed to destroy it, to fight it, to kill it. We are advised to control it. It means to use it in a proper way. If a person doesn't have such a desire, it means he is sick. He should go to the doctor. Even the desire of loving money, this is wonderful. Because of such a desires, we are working very hard to improve our community, our family. But we should not love it in such a way to ignore Allah and the good deeds. Allah Taala, in this chapter, emphasizing on the people to know your value. I have created everything for you. For you, don't sell yourself very cheap. Your value is something much more than the sun and the moon. 
so he swears and after that he says فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا قَدْ أَفْلَهَ مَنْ ذَكَّاهَا Indeed, a successful person is the one who purified himself وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا But the person who disobeyed Allah and did not purify himself, this person is, a, is going to have a miserable life. And he's not going to have a happy life. He's not a successful person in the life. Allah says, you should control your desires and think about something that has more value and that is blessing of Allah, Allah himself and his prophets. Allah swears to the sun, to the moon and to the day when he says, what shamsi wa duhaha? He wants, he wants to emphasize that there are something in your life that if you think properly, you are going to surprise. They are very strange. Think properly about them. Then you will understand that they are holy and they have a special value that it works that Allah will swear to them. The moon is coming after sun and get the light from the sun. I swear to the moon when it comes after sun. Then he inspired it to understand what is right and wrong for it. In judgment day, nobody is able to bring the excuses for Allah that Allah you didn't give me enough reasoning or I did not understand the truth this is impossible Allah has given us the intellect from inside and has sent the prophets from outside and also good people to advise us until we reach to such a point to understand the truth when Allah says, فَأَلْهَمَهَا He inspired, this is ilham. Ilham, it means we understand from inside. Maybe we don't know exactly which source. We say, you know, I understood, I got it. But revelation also will help us to understand. But we understand the source of revelation. Angel is coming to us, the Gabriel comes to the Prophet, peace be upon him, then the Prophet will understand. So revelation is only for the Prophet, is not for us. But inspiration is for all the people. Alhamaha fujuraha wa taqwaha, it means alham, it means to teach a person in such a way that a person will understand the truth but does not understand the source of that. He cannot say, how did I understand? He said, you know, I got it. Suddenly I found out. Allah says, I taught you and you know the truth. The intellect will help you, sometimes the prophet, sometimes the people. He told us how to purify ourselves. And we should get help and help the others also to be able to purify. And if all of us, not some, will be purified, then we will be saved. Otherwise, if one family alone will help themselves all the time, they are in danger. Why? Because these children are going to mix with other children. This is the reason that Allah says, you should have it means you should take care of others to order them to good deeds and to stop them from the bad deeds because the children, even the parents are going to mix. We have a social life. We need to have a social life. We should socialize with each other. It is our need. If one family among different family, disobey Allah and you will not advise them, they are going to affect the others. We should 
ask Allah to help us first to purify ourselves and then to take care of others. Thank you very much for watching. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.